There could hardly be a more difficult part of the world to make films than Palestine, but somehow or another, Nazareth-born director Elia Suleiman has managed to make four features over the past 15 years. The writer-director appears on camera in almost every scene of It Must Be Heaven, which won the Fipreski Award, the International Critics' Prize, at Cannes last year. He wears a Panama hat, horn-rimmed spectacles, and a permanently quizzical expression. He acts as an observer of the foibles of humanity. Something's wrong everywhere we go in this whimsical semi-comedy, but don't expect belly laughs. I watched it with a contented smile, and that, I think, is Suleiman's intention. So what's the point of all this? Suleiman's whimsical brand of observational comedy has been compared to that of the French master Jacques Tati, and there are certainly similarities, though the Palestinian is even more minimalistic. Everywhere he goes, he finds little things that amuse and sometimes disturb him, and he stages all of them for the widescreen camera with precision and a placid beauty. This won't be everyone's cup of tea. Some of the jokes are indeed a little bit puerile and obvious, but it's difficult not to embrace this very singular director's off-the-wall vision. I'm giving It Must Be Heaven four stars. (laughs) 